let's get to our um you know our favorite oh thing. the main event main event uh we're just going to play these there's about two two minute clips this first one is damian grant again as we we're saying carrying water for the gop carrying water for donald trump and you've got to kind of ask why God, you and Simon Wilson are such full of nonsense. You I haven't said a you word yet. A, you go, yes, yes, you have. Well, you, start, back you, started off, you started off I this did. thing with a tissue of lies. You go back and you, and you look at the way that the Democrats have characterized Donald Trump over the last three or four years. Joe Biden started his presidency with the, with the, with the idea that he had to get involved because Donald Trump said... Do we remember the whole pedophiles in the bottom of the pizza basement you know like it's it's this is the this is the thing i'm saying it's it's so far and away more on the right than the left and because this event has happened to trump um the right are able to use it they think to paint the left as the ones who are more unhinged and violent and it's not the case it's not the case Say that there were good people on both sides creating the lie that Donald Trump was there defending neo-Nazis when he wasn't. He was defending those people who wanted to defend the Confederate statues. They took, go around and saying that Donald Otherwise Trump known as democracy and he must yeah. be stopped at all sides. Donald Trump said that there would be a bloodbath and that, the, that that was deliberately misconstrued to say that if he wasn't re-elected there would be a bloodbath when any objective reading of what he was said is Donald Trump was talking about the automotive industry. He was talking about economic carnage there was recently an image of donald trump and adolf hitler's face merged but that's so stupid because when when biden was talking about putting a bullseye in him he was so obviously not talking about a gun yet they're using that as mm. biden do you denounce those saying so what he's saying is trump's allowed to use you know metaphor and stuff that sounds violent but it's not but when biden doesn't even do it he's He's now getting chastised for it. So actually, he, he's undermining his own argument here on some level. Which I think it was on the New Republic or some other such publication. The Democrats in the United States have been pushing a narrative for months, if not years, that Donald Trump is an existential threat to democracy. They have Which raised the level of dis... Which he is. Which he is. He is. He is course oh, yeah. in that country. Now, that doesn't mean that the Democrats are responsible, but to go around... <laughs> I love it how he goes round and he's like you say, Chewie, he's walking right up to that line, making sure everyone's aware we can, if we want to, we can blame the Democrats. But no, we're not saying we blame the Democrats, but they did all these things that caused this problem. But we're not, we're not blaming them, but they did all these things that could have, let, but we're not blaming them. It's, it's so disingenuous. This is why I said to Bomber today, Damien Grant for the left is just the, the gift that keeps on giving and giving and giving and claim mr wilson that somehow this was a fault of the of the republicans that they are somehow hypocritical is absolute nonsense oh, come on oh, oh come on please. what go on come on what and what his and what have i said his and what have i said insurrection of the sixth and, and what have i said his call for the vermin <laughs> what the have feral, i well, the what, communists. and what and what have i just said and the and the list of things i'm not here defending the republicans i am saying that no you're you basically are. You might not want to look like you are, but but you are. You cannot turn around and denounce the Republicans of hypocrisy when you blatantly ignore the stuff and the lies that have been said on your sides. Have, you, have you, we, have you, we, have we you, done an insurrection? You, 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 you go round and you claim on this he, very he podcast. He is a fascist. He is an orange exactly. fascist. You and he claim is. he is because a fascist. Because what they want to do with What's Project 25, 2020, 2025 is to take mm. over every arm and every branch of the Bollocks. bureaucratic establishment. What is a fascist? Uh, it's a Define cult. A it's a cult. It's a cult. Define around what are the a economic right-wing cult. What are the cult? What is the economic characteristics of fascism national sir? socialism exactly and what is the second word of that socialism if you want <laughs> to define oh, fascism you dummy. i know oh, he keeps on giving he, ke it. he keeps on giving Hey, driving right, okay. the organs of the, follow of the government. Follow Donald question. Trump is not a fascist, and you are spreading lies. He is, lies. He is, he is, he is, he is follow-up question. You are part of the problem. In January... Oh, there you go. And I'm oh, sorry, I cut that bit off. Bomber, that's where Bomber goes, you're a part of the problem. Bomber's like, oh, yeah, so I, I, I loaded the gun. Oh, I see something like that. So. so it's just, you know, yeah, I mean, so if it's true, so this is the other thing. If some of the things that people are saying are true, authoritarian be a dictator for a day fascistic you know underleanings 
um, admiring all the authoritarians around the world, right? If all those things are true and people are saying it about Donald Trump, and then an unhinged person uses those things being said about Trump to commit a, a, a horrendous act. Okay, we'll leave that there. What about all the things that the right say about the left that aren't true? Pedophiles, drinking babies' blood, you know, basement of uh, pizzerias, Pizzagate, uh, baby killers, you know, murderers, evil. And that leads to someone like Paul Pelosi being attacked with a hammer based on things that aren't true. You just, I just, I'm not stupid enough to fall for this, Joey. You're not stupid enough to fall for this. I suspect no one watching is stupid enough to fall for this. The question is, is there enough people, are there enough people out there who are stupid enough to fall for this that'll drive their vote to Donald Trump in America, that is? Damien Graham, a twice convicted fraudster, is not a student of history. Like, he might cry out, like, I love it when they go full debate club. Define fascism for me. Define fascism for me. It's authoritarian leadership. It's generally aimed towards a, a, a one-party state with full control over, over the media, over industry. Uh, they tend to focus power into a few corporations or a few organizations. And I think if you look at fascist leaders of the past, and this is why that comparison gets made, I personally wouldn't lump Trump with Hitler, but I'd very much lump him with Benito Mussolini. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of parallels there. Oh, but, and, also, and it's, I, it's, but it's okay to identify the times he's used rhetoric, like, like hmm. calling people vermin, and that, that have been said by themes that have been used by words that have been written by hitler that that's fine because if they have been said by and written by yeah you can you can say this is the language of hitler this is the language of other groups he's used the threat of an outside enemy there's always an outside enemy that's always used as a way to consolidate power uh is because if i don't do it then this outside factor is you know they're sending rapists up from from mexico our borders are overrun um you know the the chinese are flooding our country with with drugs and that sort of suspiciously very little about russia but there you go draw your own parallels there you know it's it's there's a reason people keep on circling around and going you know even if they're not pointing at trump and going oh he's an orange hitler there's enough warning signs of where this could go. And I think just overall, the erosions of protections that the US built into their system that have been systemically chipped away at over the last 40 years. Yeah. And I think because of their religious makeup, because of how nationalistic they are, because of their racial background in the US, they are prone to if they don't have those protections there, if they don't have politicians that, that, that look at the democratic process of something to be proud of rather than to get around, the fear of the US sliding into a fascist state, there's a reason that people keep on drawing these parallels because they're there. Yeah. And yes. I think if you can't defend that position if if someone like damian grant can turn around and go well we'll we'll define it show me why if you can't turn around and go here's a bunch of examples this is why calmly reasoned this is why i think this way this is why i'm worried perfect transition sir i know how you like to predict things that are coming (laughs) because calm rational is is a bit of the theme of the next conversation um it is talking about the right owning political violence right this is what this but with with friend of the show simon wilson in here as well uh let's have a look this isn't an equivalent situation this isn't like everybody on don't you feel calm on both sides in america don't you just feel calm by his voice calm 
And it's like a butter had a voice. Mm. And politics is all doing the same things, mm. and it just happens to be it's the right sometimes, the left sometimes. Political violence in America, 75% of the major political violence in America is from the right. Only 4% is from the left, and the rest of it is undeterred. Where did that data we, come from? We Let me come back to that. We've been living with an America where... The husband of the Speaker of, uh, of the um, House of Representatives, Paul Pelosi, was attacked with a hammer by a man who was trying to kill his wife, Nancy Pelosi, mm. where the governor of, um, of Michigan um, had to, uh, was lucky not to be uh, kidnapped, uh, where one in six election officials report having death threats at them. And this is in the context where they've had a president, Trump, who said, maybe we can just shoot them in the legs, talking about Black Lives Matter, uh, where he did clearly encourage an insurrection, an armed insurrection against um, the Capitol on January 6, 2020, 2021. And in the context of that, there were people there with weapons who wanted, as you said earlier, to kill the vice president and maybe any other Congress members they found. That is the that is the America that has been uh, we've had to confront as citizens of the world, and we don't get a vote in their election. It has come from the right. The violence against um, migrants in America. Tr- Trump's own people have revealed that he was quite keen on going to war with Mexico, bombing Mexico. The violence against women through the abortion, um, really strict uh, abortion rules that they've got there now. The incredible irony that because of the Republicans, the gun that nearly killed Trump uh, is not banned, uh, despite efforts from Democrats to ban it. It's not banned because of Republicans. They live with what I read was the daily trauma of living in a bully's paradise, and I think that's a really good phrase. And, you know, to argue that it's just the same on both sides, it's... Clearly not, F- like and Apple. clearly dangerous. No, hold on. Yeah. You, you, ma- you made a statement. 75% oh, of the political violence change. in the United States come from the right. Where did I'm that... sorry, I, I, don't have the, I don't have it in front of me, but I didn't so this, make this, it this will be this will be a bit of a post-truth, truthiness. <laughs> if you you're going to like. come out there and you're going to no, make so, it... So, um, so Damien Grant is saying that Simon Wilson is not telling the truth. We'll get to that at the end of this clip. It's only got about 30 seconds to go, and this is the, the point... Chewy about the calming down. Have a listen. Of a post truth truthiness. <laughs> if you you're going to like. come out there and you're going to no, make, so a, Damien, if you're going to make a statement like Damien, that, Simon, seventy-five percent of the violence Damien. in the United States comes from right-wing sources. That is an audacious claim, and I want to know where you get it from because know, it doesn't ring true. I don't know why you think it doesn't ring true, but I also want to ask something else. Please don't shout like that. We can have the debate about violence in politics without shouting about it. Simon, follow, that's follow not question. how we get ratings. Follow up question. Stupid follow joke, didn't make sense. Very good point by, made by Simon Wilson. Now, Chewy, I would like to show you some research because we do like to bring receipts. Uh, research done by the ADL, this 2021, Murder and Extremism in the United States 2021. I'll just read you one paragraph. Over the past decade, right-wing extremists have committed the majority of extremist-related killings in all years but one, 2016, the year of the shooting spree at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida, by a person motivated by Islamist extremism. Of the 443 people killed at the hands of extremists over that 10-year period, 333, or 75%, were killed by right-wing extremists. So maybe Simon Wilson didn't have his fingertips to back it up. Uh, Old mate Damien Grant was basically saying, so you're full of shit. There it is, sir. Chewy. Oh, you should send that to Bobber. Um, Yeah. Like, it's plain to see. Like, I didn't see a left-wing storming of the Capitol. Yeah. During Trump's presidency, I saw protest. I didn't see insurrection. You know? There's... Someone's, you know, Kevin Sorbo, who played Hercules, he said on his Twitter feed today something like, oh, you know, there was an, a, there was an assassination attempt, and what didn't you see? You didn't see right-wingers burning things down, and da 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 and I just tweeted out and said, no, no, they save that when they lose an election because of what you're saying. Yeah, there, there, there's more rioting done by hockey fans in the US than there is over this week. <laughs> you know, there, there's there's been a few large ones, and they're mainly around um, 
you know, in Seattle, they had a few riots and stuff like that from left-wing causes, like the G20 and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's it's not the same. The, the propensity for violence is just not comparable between the two sides of the argument. I don't get it. Like, I, I understand that Damien Grant's a right-winger. But there's surely I, I'm just expecting him to have at least a little bit of the the intellectual honesty to not go, it's a right wing cause, therefore I support it. Yeah. You know, sometimes there's times where you go, because there's certainly left wing stuff that I look at and I go, nah, I I I can't I can't bridge that gap between where you are and I am. I I don't agree. You know, yeah. and I'll, I'll voice that. Um, but there's nothing weirder to me than a New Zealander looking at Trump and going, yep, this is this is the guy that I think I I just can't get there. I, I don't see it. I don't I try to see where people come from and I just can't see a new, like a New Zealand Trump supporter. And I'm not saying that Damien's necessarily a Trump supporter. But I just can't see how they get there. He goes against everything I think most New Zealanders stand for. Like, we don't like people who brag or big themselves up just, mm. just straight away. It's like, like I said on the show the other day, if someone voices a strong opinion, we all turn to that person and we tell, tell them to fucking calm down a little bit. You know, it's embarrassing. Um. He's a he's a he's very much a product of America, but you know, and 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 I think of this when I look at the Republican Party, right? Again, there's some classic Republicans through time that have like I, you know, I always go back to Eisenhower. You know, he was a Republican. He he wouldn't even recognize the Republican Party of today. It's it's mental. Even when you look at some of the policies that Nixon had in play, Nixon famously not a great guy, but his his Republican Party unrecognizable to these guys. Even Reagan's Republican Party that set all of this in motion would be unrecognizable uh, to today's Republican Party. So these guys have, and this is why I say what they don't have spines. They've gone back on every tenant of their belief of their integrity just to be the winner they've put up someone who they think can win at all costs they sit there and they say that they're christian and, and they value christian values and they pick trump yeah and people that support him it's, it's a wide church and a lot of them like i you're poor and you think Trump speaks for you. <laughs> Trump wouldn't cross the road to piss on you if you're on fire. He wouldn't want you within 10 feet of him. Why mm. do you think he's your guy?